Welcome back to our 100% playthrough of Elder Scrolls V Skyrim on PlayStation 4. In a previous episode, we had just finished up the Silver Hand quest, where we noticed that Skior had run on ahead of us and got himself killed by Dungeon Boss the Skinner. We took care of the Skinner. Ayla said she'll stay behind to, as she said, look for clues. So let's go on ahead. We were given a quest striking at the heart to assassinate the Silver Hand leader. However, before we do that, let's go ahead and get ourselves retooled, refitted, and re-squared away. It's been a while since we've been back in combat and we want to make sure we have everything we need and level up any of the skills we need to before we head out. So right off the bat, if we check the map, it should now say that this location, as you see with the diamond there, is cleared since we took out the dungeon boss. So let's go ahead and head back to Whiterun. This is where we need to go next, and you notice it's not too far down from Morthal, is how we'll end up getting to it. For now, back to Whiterun. Okay. They're reforming a dawn guard, vampire hunters or something in the old fort near Riften. And just like this, we want to go ahead and run the classic gambit. Anytime you go on a big excursion or a big mission like this, always good to come back to whatever town we're working near and go ahead grab all the ingredients that have now respawned and are laying around and go ahead and run through all the different vendors just to offload all of our items keep our inventory down as well as gain any skills along the way like we can make some leather smithing shop go ahead and do got everything we can here More inside. see if we got any ore we can smelt not this time I don't claim to be hmm, blades helmets don't forget to check inside the shop if you need it. Now, we can't yet modify any enchanted weapons and armor, but let's see what armor and weapons we do have that we can build up. Looks like the wolf armor just needs steel. And it is 34 versus our 30, so it's definitely a good investment. As for weapons... We shouldn't have that many to choose from. Looks like steel, steel, or a calcum, and steel. So, we really, just need a whole bunch of steel ingots. I help my father in more. Take a look. So let's go ahead and see what she's got, and let's basically take all the steel. Not too worried about what we spent, because we can just toss out anything we don't want to keep around. In this case, I don't really care about Warhammers all that much. Just one good bow, one good weapon. I'm mainly just keeping the Skyforge stuff so when we do have a house I can display it unless we really get in crippling trouble with our weight. For now I'll just hold on to it. Brawlers hide since it is enchanted we can't upgrade it. That is not enchanted but is going to need I believe Moonstone does elven equipment. We're going to get rid of the iron armor, so we'll go ahead and toss it. As well as the boots. Out of there. Now, anything here that we don't need? No. Normally, I never sell any of the building right, equipment. 
So let's go ahead and get the wolf armor up. Slap it on. And we are upgraded. Good to go. Armoring 77 now. You think all the counsel my father provides the Jarl is his alone? Huh. Let's just say I advise the advisor and leave it at that. Okay, advisor. Need something? Do you have Need anything blades, dealing helmets, with moon? Pretty much anything to suit your needs. Well, she's got the ore for it. And with two of the ore. The finest weapons and armor. Look like she actually did have the refined moonstone. But with the ore, we can go ahead and make it ourselves. Right there, two to make one. Got some and, good pieces out here if you're looking to buy. And with More this, we should be able to upgrade the helmet. Yes. There we are. We may look ridiculous. Are you, your hounds? you smell like a wet dog. Thanks. We may look ridiculous, but it is effective. Well, what's the old saying go? It ain't stupid if it works. And in this case, if we go ahead and check our inventory again, our final armor rating right now is 78 currently. And for level 10, it's looking pretty good. Now, ideally, we have our magic ready to go. We still have our other weapons favorited, so we're in good shape here. See if we can get a arrows Hello, here. Friend. Take a look. Finally, this is what we've been looking for for the longest time. So anytime you get the chance to get the Soul Trap enchantment, take it. Absolutely. Now we can finally get ourselves a good quality bow. Now does he have a good quality bow? That would be an upgrade to ours. Because I believe we just have Imperial. Sitting at 11. I'm not interested in the crossbows. So it looks like he has 7. That one's already enchanted. Looks like we'll just have taken our Imperial Bow. Unless Bellathor has one. Thank you very much for your business. And just to make extra double sure here. Yes, ours is not even enchanted, so that's perfect. We can just add the enchantment to it. You know what's wrong with Skyrim these days? Everything. Take a good look around. I'm sure you'll find what you're looking for. If not, let me know. I might have it stored away. Maybe. Every trinkets, odds and ends, that sort of thing. Okay, now he's got the elemental arrows, which is really nice. But do you have a better bow? A better bow I don't see. Do come back. Does anyone have a better bow? Only two more we can realistically check. That'd be Yorland. And I'm not going back to Adrienne, we just came there. Go ahead and get more ingredients. Up, a lot of steel to shape. God be praised. Okay, so in his case, there we go. So he does have the upgrades. He's got the Orcish bow. I'm pretty sure there's not a Skyforge steel one, but I've been surprised by him before. Looks like the Orcish bow is going to be the way to go. There we are.
Gods be praised. Do you have the or calcum to go with it? Do I have the or calcum to go with it? So nobody has the or calcum. All right. Mm -hmm. I guess we're gonna have to go back to Adrian. Never change, buddy. We are getting out of breath way too easy here. I don't claim to be the best blacksmith in white, the finest weapons and armor. Okay, and you definitely have it. Good. So the trick here is we Don't cannot upgrade enchanted equipment yet, but we can what upgrade it. We can upgrade it before we enchant it. So let's go ahead and upgrade the orcish bow. And that's going to be 12 instead of the 11 that we have currently. One more damage, one more weight. It's fine, considering we're about to enchant it, as well. Now, all we need is a good soul gem, but it doesn't even really have to be good in this case, because we're going to give it just a one-second delay, which will give us more uses. Hey, watch it. Are you still working with and this next sequence may be a little bit tricky, because we are basically going to have to ignore the quest that is to try and force us to use the enchantment table. Because if you remember, the whole reason we're in White Run to begin with is to meet with the Arl about getting help for Riverwood. So, we want to completely bypass everything involved with that mission for right now and just use their enchantment table. Disrespect the law. I might just be a servant. To so my if we Lord, sneak to a side, a moment, you'll notice she's gonna come after us to initiate the sequence. Let's just avoid her. Get to the enchantment table. Come to Dragon's Reach to discuss the ongoing hostilities. Like the rest and let's disenchant the bow with the soul enchantment. We're not punching things, so let's disenchant the bracers too. We don't need it. At this point, let's grab our orcish bow. Soul trap, but dies within one second because the bow is either going to kill you or it's not going to kill you. And any soul gem really doesn't matter for this particular application. Um, Faringar are made. The meaning of this oh, here we go. Jarl Balgruf is not receiving visitors. I'm not even talking to you, Irolith. As House Carl, my job is to deal with all dangers that threaten the Jarl or his people. So you have my attention. Now explain yourself. The dragons you destroyed know Helgen. About Helgen? The Jarl will want to speak to you personally. Approach. Thanks, but no thanks. It uses damnable... So, you wish to master the arcane arts? Maybe. If you've got the right kind of soul gem, and that's the right kind of gem I'm looking for. So, this is the best soul gem that you can get, the grand soul gem, filled with a grand soul. The only reason I care about this is the better soul gem you use, the better the enchantment will be. Technically, if we use a better soul gem, even though we have it powered down all the way to one second, it will take longer before we have to recharge it. So you know, it will save us the in the end. You should join the Mage's College in Winterhold. And I'll show you what I mean here. So with the Orcish Bow, with Soul Trap, 
if we knock it down to one second you notice the charges are 583 where if we have it all the way up to within four seconds it drops to only 127 so one second is perfectly fine but now when it comes to the actual soul gem that we're using Notice the difference in value on the bow between 275 575. So now we're giving this the best enchantment that we can at this point in time as far as soul trap on this particular bow. So let's go ahead, X to craft, or box to craft. And just like that, we finally have ourselves a bow that can fill soul gems which is going to be crucial when we want to look at enchanting things. So going forward, this is going to be our one only special bow for now. Now, unless you're battling ice wraiths, frost trolls, and the like, I don't really get that much into elemental arrows. I know it's a newer feature, I believe, with Anniversary Edition, and I'm sure it has more uses, but I've not really played around with it that much. And we're really more focused on magic here. So so let's go ahead and deal with all these ingredients Take we've gathered I'm sure you'll find what you're looking for. and use it's the rest of our money to buy Take everything look. she's got. Take a look. Everything that we can afford. Because this is leveling up our speech skill as we do this. Also gives you a chance of finding something you've not found out in the wild yet. Come back any so before you go crafting crazy, make sure that there's nothing that is unknown for everything. Like this one, we want to go ahead, eat that one. So we figure out what it does. Same thing here. You're looking for anything that is unknown for everything. And then the next time you find it, you'll know what it does. Okay. And now with all that in hand, let's basically just make every potion we possibly can. You ideally want to start with the ones that look like they'll do the most for you. Uh, that way you have the most I am ingredients to throw at it. So in this case, since we're magic built, I like the idea of conjuration. So let's go ahead and grab these three. Use as many as we can until that's done. Now, don't care about two-handed. I do care about restoring magic. So grab them in groups like that until we can't aim more. Same thing with stamina. Sounds good to me. If there's anything I can help you with, you have but to ask. At this point, magic resistance is going to be a best one, instead of breaking it into specifically fire or frost. I offer remedies for ailments both common and rare. And when we have no other choice, I think frost is more of a problem than fire is. At this point, I don't really deal with poisons. I sell cures for all ills, and I'll be happy to serve you. But it's stuff we can sell, and it's still counting toward our alchemy skill. You'll find tonics, salves, poultices, and potions on my shelves. Browse there we to go. Your heart's content. Now, once we've created everything, 
Unless you have a really good potion oh, that you made, so go ahead and alchemist, sell it all then. back. So basically we just grabbed her entire inventory just to go back and sell everything we made to her. That is not something that's really special. Like again, don't care about poisons. Cure disease, always good to have. Anything dealing with magic, great. Don't care about two-handed. Why resist individual things when you can just resist magic as a whole? So these are pointless. Again, poison, don't care. At this point, the only ones I absolutely care about are going to be magic, conjuration, cure disease, so even these can go as they just help restore all of our money back. And again, we can throw out money back into the ingredients we couldn't afford and keep it going until she has nothing left or we run out. Come back. Do the same thing here. So back to ingredients, make sure nothing is unknown. If it is, eat the unknown. And next time, you'll know what it does. There we go. At that point, same thing applies. So look for things we care about and do those first. That way we know we have the ingredients for it. Weakness, no way. Restore, here we go. Magic, let's do it. Health, sure. Not a big fan of the resistance stuff, and definitely don't do the poisons, so resist it is. You'll find tonics, salves, poultices, and potions on my shelves. Browse At this point, you. just run out everything else that you have that you can make, since we're just going to sell it back to her. And just like that, go back again. Help? Pardon me. So you're interested in my potions and ingredients? Sell her everything we just made that you don't want to hang on to. So poison everything. Bah. Cure disease. Good. Conjuration. Good. Health. Good. Magic. Good. Regenerate magic. Perfect. Resist. Don't care. And restore magic. Perfect. So at this point, we have used our money, we have increased our speech, we've increased our alchemy, we're good here. Until next time. And now we are lighter because we're not carrying around all those ingredients with us. At this point, we just need a good night's sleep and we'll be ready you know to tackle the world in the morning. Since we'll get the well rested bonus. Come on in. Let me know if you need anything or take a seat by the this fire. Is an and I'll send to Actually, we won't. If it's work you need sure thing. It's yours for a day. I'll show I'll tell you in a moment here. So we actually won't because we were given the werewolf ability. That is one caveat if you have either vampirism or the werewolf ability. You actually do not get the well-rested bonus anymore. Either way, still like to start the day fresh, so we'll go ahead and sleep. To your room, right? Drink to our youth, today's come and gone. For the age of aggression is just about done. And this way we can come at the new mission with a fresh new day. And if we do 12, it'll still be 412. Let's go about here. Ideally, we want to get it about 6 a.m. Usually, when it's starting to get sunny, that way we have plenty of daylight to get where we need to get and take on the leader of the Silver Hand. Let me know if there's anything else you need. You got it. 
At this point, we can also check our active effects to make sure we're not carrying any diseases back with us because there were some skeevers we were fighting. And anything negative will appear in red. Notice we don't have any of that. So that is perfect. Bow at the ray, if not the bow. Magic at the ray, we are good to go. And so in the next episode, we will finally be taking on Striking the Heart quest to assassinate the Silver Hand leader. Until then, take care everyone, and we'll see you next time.